Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at the differences between how the Cyanogen Mod 7, or the uh, gingerbread on the uh, HP Touchpad, talks to the computer versus the new uh, Cyanogen Mod 9, which is based on the ice cream sandwich, uh, and how it talks to the computer. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion on how this occurs, and so I'm going to talk about this. Uh, I do have two HP touchpads here. Uh, the one that you see in front of you now next to my laptop is running the Cyanogen Mod 7, uh, the Alpha 3.5. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach it to the computer and show you what occurs. And then we'll take a look at the Cyanogen Mod 9 and see what that does as well. So I'm going to take my USB cord here and plug it in. Okay. All right, now the computer has just beeped, indicating that something has occurred. And uh, the touchpad itself actually doesn't seem, ah, there we go. Okay, so let me show you what I have here on the touchpad. Uh, you'll notice down here at the bottom that there is a little USB symbol. So if I drag this up, uh, you'll notice that it says USB connected and so I'm going to tap on that and here we have it. Uh, this screen here lets you choose whether to turn on USB storage or not. Now if I were to go into my computer right now, uh, it doesn't actually show anything in terms of a drive. Uh, it just shows that the device is connected but you can't really see any of the uh, inner workings of it. Let me zoom back out to show you here. Uh, once I go into the computer, you'll see that it has a device connected, but it doesn't have anything that I can click on. Removable drive F uh, ultimately will be the tablet, but it just hasn't gotten to that point yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on turn on USB storage. And it'll say, if you turn on USB storage, some applications you use will stop and may be unavailable until you turn USB off. And, and that's, you know, if you have a piece of software that's utilizing the USB storage on your device right now, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to uh, be doing this. So I'm going to hit OK. And uh, you know that it's connected correctly because the Android has now turned orange. And if you look on my computer now, it does say uh, connect to the HP uh, touchpad. And so I do have the ability now to go in and look at my files. And uh, I'll, I'll just click on this here. And you'll notice that my F drive has now become that device. And I can click on that and I can go in and I can uh, add and subtract files and, and do all of that type of stuff. So now, if I look at the device itself, and, and let, me, let me zoom in on the device here, uh, we have a couple options. Now, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And as soon as I did, the computer realized that it was off and then it went away. But if I go back into uh, my menu here, it'll show that USB debugging is connected. Now USB debugging, if I tap on that, it'll go in, it'll show you the menu. USB debugging is meant for if you're going to connect your device to the computer for the purposes of and I don't want to use the term debugging, but for connectivity, uh, for things such as ADB or um, doing some flashing, it's not necessarily something you'll use unless you're, you're connecting via ADB. Um, that's a setting that it's on, and it still let me connect to the computer. So that that it's up to you whether you leave that on or not. But the key point here is that when I did go into this and I did the USB connected, it allowed me to turn it on and access it just like it's a storage device. So now I'm gonna zoom out and let's take a look at my other device here. Okay, this is my ice cream sandwich, uh, my Cyanogen Mon 9 device. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in the USB cord again. 
Okay, now my computer has dinged, indicating that it recognizes that there's something there. Now, on the device itself, and I'm going to show you uh, what we have available, down at the bottom here, there is the little USB symbol, similar to what we had on the Signage of Mod 7. So if I drag this up, it says connect it as camera. I'm going to tap that, tap that here, and I'm going to show you what it takes you into. It takes you into your settings. And you have two options under storage. And let me uh, show you a different way to get to this. If uh, you were to just go into your menu and uh, then go into settings here, you'll see storage is an option. And once you're in storage, uh, you can go up to the little menu button here and it'll say USB computer connection. So I'm just going to tap on that. It's basically the same way I got to it from using the USB symbol. There's two options here, PTP and MTP. Now, what do the different things mean? Well, MTV, <laughs> I'm sorry, MTP is what you would typically use if you're going to transfer data back and forth. Currently, my device is set to PTP. Let me show you what it does on the computer here. With PTP set, if I go in and browse my device, you'll see my SD card present. And I'll double click that, and you'll notice it gives me my DCIM and my pictures folders. These two folders are only going to give you the media, the pictures. So I have my pictures that have been taken, and actually these were taken in WebOS, so I haven't taken any pictures. Don't worry, uh, I didn't fix the camera. The, the camera still doesn't work. Um, <laughs> so these pictures are from WebOS, and they've just ended up in this area. But this is what it's talking about. So for, in terms of camera, a PTP uh, on the device, you'll notice that you only get options to uh, pick and choose what's in the DCIM folder. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to choose media device. And let, me, let me zoom out here first. If I choose media device instead of camera, the computer dings again and now the computer is wanting to look at it differently. Now you'll notice that mine says GTI 9100. That's because I've modified my build prop. So it recognizes this as a different device. So games, some games work. If you need to know how to do that, I happen to have a video that explains that in my YouTube channel. So I'm going to open device to view files. And again, I get my SD card here and I double click on it and it shows me all of my normal folders as I would expect along with, you know, all of my things on the root, my zip files and all of that nonsense. So this is what's going to be as close to your conventional settings as you could possibly get what you're used to in CM7. So just to kind of uh, review here, what we have is the tablet is actually set to MTP. Now let's take a look at one other piece of uh, information here. If we were to go into developer options, Android debugging is currently turned off on my device. But if I wanted to and I turned that on, that's actually USB debugging is intended for development purposes and I hit OK. Notice what occurs on my computer. It actually lost the connection to the device. So in CM7, if you have ADB, or I'm sorry, Android debugging turned on, it um, it breaks your connect. It doesn't do anything. So CyanogenMod 7, uh, it doesn't actually do anything. And now in Ice Cream Sandwich, it doesn't do anything either. So Android debugging, whether it's on or whether it's off, isn't going to affect your ability to connect your machine, you know, your tablet to your computer. Uh, so I always just leave ADB, or I'm sorry, Android debugging on so I can use ADB to uh, talk to it and send and pull things and all that jazz. So uh, hopefully this clears some things up for you. Um, this is something that's it's completely different because it's not just you plug it in, you say connect USB storage. You have to understand that there's two different settings and what the two of them mean. All right, so I think that that about wraps up uh, this video here. Uh, this has been Reverend Kyle uh, showing you how to properly connect your tablet to your computer via USB connection.